What's going on everyone? Today I'm going to bring you a little how-to on updating the firmware, or as Neato likes to call it, the software of your XV RoboVac. So if you go into the menu of your Neato here and go down to support, you can click on show revisions and it'll tell you a little bit of information about your RoboVac. Um, mine is currently running 3.2. If your RoboVac is running 3.1, this update won't really apply for you because you have an older vacuum. But if you're running 3.0 or 3.2 like I am, then this update is for you. So we're going to go to Nito's website here. And once you create an account and register your vacuum with their website in My Nito, you'll go down for your model vacuum and select Software Update. And you're going to tell it that your current revision is less than 3.4. And then it'll tell you about the 3.4 release. So make sure that your system meets the requirements that are listed on the right hand side there. If you don't meet any of those, then the update may not work for you. We're going to click get started there and we're going to download the updating tool. I usually like to save my executables out to either the desktop or into my downloads folder and run from there. I'm not a big fan of running straight out of the browser. So I just threw them out here. I've actually already installed this software, so I'm just going to cancel out of it here in a second. But it's a pretty straightforward install. You're just going to slam the next button a bunch of times, and you're going to get the driver for your vacuum and the updating utility. So going back to the browser here, we continue on and just read through these quick little steps here on connecting up your robot. And we're going to pop back out here, and I'm going to show you where the USB port is for your robot. So if you take Neato and you flip him over to the back side where the charging uh, port is, where it usually backs into its dock, off to the side of that little reset button, you're going to see a little white plug with a slit in it. If you just take a paper clip there and pop that plug right straight on out, you're going to see a little chunk of the board, and you got a mini USB port back there. You can grab any standard mini USB cable. I just happened to find one for my daughter's leapfrog little violet stuffed animal thing. So I grabbed that real quick, popped it on in, and then bring this on over to the computer that you're going to be doing the update on. And we're just going to plug it into the USB port. go back to the desktop here and Windows is going to try to search for an updated driver for this RoboVac. Um, you can skip this part by clicking that uh, skip obtaining drivers from Windows update below or you can just let it finish out but once it's installed you can click on start update and you're going to get a couple security prompts here basically allowing the browser to interact with the desktop and devices connected to it which is going to allow it to talk to Nito and it's going to confirm that you do actually need the 3.4 update so click install and accept those prompts one more time for security and this part's going to take a little bit this part actually took uh, roughly two to three minutes so we're going to wait for this to finish up and for the sake of time we're just gonna cut out some of this wait here and you'll eventually be greeted with a congratulations on the web page and it does advise you to follow these steps to reset the battery in Nido as well as visit this link here to follow instructions on performing calibration on your batteries so at this point, we can unplug the Neato Vac, and if we spin it on around here, you're going to see that it actually did a bit of a soft reset on the software on the RoboVac. It's asking me for what language to select again, but this is going to be the only step that it needs set up again. It's still retained its clock settings in my schedule as well. So if we pop back into menu and go down to support, show revisions and we see that it applied the 3.4 update and then we're going to go down to the bottom of this menu and select new battery 
and this is going to reset the battery counter in Neato. And then like I said, you'll want to run through the calibration of the batteries on Neato one more time. The calibration for Neato on his batteries is going to be running through three cycles. Those three cycles, you're going to first start off by charging the battery for three to five hours and then running Neato through a full cycle until he indicates low battery. Place him back on the charger, let him charge back up until he's full. The LED will go green and let him go again. And then once he displays low battery one more time, you'll put him back on the charger once more. Wait for the green LED to be fully lit for a full charge and let him run one more time. After that last run, then you can put him back on the charger and resume your normal schedule. Alright guys, I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please leave a like down below. And if you really did, leave a comment while considering subscribing for more content like this. But until next time, it's just another day in the office for me.